Hey what's up guys, welcome to After Apps and now transfer files from your Android to Mac with ease. You can send documents, you can send videos, all transfer directly to your Mac in a few seconds. You can remote control your Mac mouse or you can even control your multimedia or slideshows remotely from a Mac. You can also receive notifications from your Android device on your Mac. So let's find out in this video. Without further ado, let's get started. So guys, all you want to do is just go ahead uh, in the link in the video description uh, or you can just Google it, uh, this article on our website and you can just download uh, this KD Connect from Mac which is basically a Google Drive link and you can just download it with ease or you can just go to KD Connect website and just download the latest version from there. So let's download this. Now you just launch the downloaded file. Uh, it's actually already uh, compiled from the Linux version. You can just drag the application in your applications folder, just like you install any application on Mac, uh, and that's it. You you have installed uh, KD Connect. Now just go ahead to your Android device. Uh, just launch the Play Store and download the KD Connect application available on your Android device. Uh, and make sure you both are on the same Wi-Fi network. Your phone and your computer should be on the same Wi-Fi network during the setup and even when you want to use it. Uh, otherwise it won't work uh, so now that you have downloaded and installed let's launch you can just uh, remove the uh, in installer and just launch the KD Connect indicator app for the first time uh, and also you can launch your app KD Connect indicator cannot be opened because Apple cannot check for malicious software So as you can see, uh, you just need to allow this. this is a new security feature in Monterey. So I just opened the helper and I just clicked on open the generator, uh, generator panel for me and just allow it anyway, open it anyway and we're going to get open. And finally the app seems to be launching. Now this is advanced security that I just noticed right now because initially when I installed I didn't find this. So Apple keeps increasing the security. Uh, so now you know how to go through this one. Uh, now that's done, you can just close all of this and you can see an K icon here. And you can click on configure. Now just go to your Android phone and just refresh. Uh, now let's hit refresh and you can see now the Android device is also visible as well as on MacBook is also visible. So generally I prefer pairing from your Android to your Mac, it's better. So just click on this request pairing you will see a notification right here uh, just go options and click allow once that's done uh, it should be configured and your Mac should be connected with your Android device so when you going to accept there you go it got paired let's refresh let's launch this app again Let me restart this up. Okay, there you go. So it was an Android bug. Uh, now this is something that came on camera. It was not something that came to me. I'm using this for quite a while now. It's like since I bought my MacBook basically. Uh, so no worries, we find a solution to the problem. Uh, and right now you can see all the features listed here. Your Mac is successfully connected. You can either choose connect there or connect here it doesn't matter but I prefer choosing on Mac so it stays connected now you can close this application uh, you can send files uh, through your file explorer and say whenever you send your file 
uh, say for instance let's send this file uh, it actually comes into your download folder so open finder uh, and you can find out the image or video whatever is right in your download folder so you can just transfer uh, you can also do the remote input so your mouse can be controlled as you can see as well as you can allow notifications so notification sync open settings and just allow KD connect to access your notification again okay, MIUI extra security uh, you know Android device that might differ okay so now notifications will also arrive on my Mac and even phone call notifications and everything you can also come have remote input so you can control uh, multimedia like a music player or something from Android device now again it's not seamless there are bugs even in solution we found many bugs and sometimes it won't just detect say for instance you put your laptop to your sleep and when you wake up normally we don't shut down the Mac we just close it to lid uh, so when there's network change when because when when you close the lid the Wi-Fi turns off there's network change right uh, it won't just detect so all you have to do is uh, just open this Kden live and click quit and just launch the KD Connect indicator again and you can also allow that thing uh, in the notification so that's even better so make sure you allow that and you can also see your just refresh as you can see connected you can also see notification just came uh, and you can see your battery 97%, your Wi-Fi signal which is 100%. Uh, you can see the Ringer device. Uh, you can send a file, and you can send a file also from your laptop to your computer. You can send a file, choose a file, see documents. Uh, see, let's open this, and you just send and it should be received on your Android device in the same download folder as you can see receiving one file uh, so it got received in the same way you could also ping a device get a photo which is a nice feature you can check even SMS so click on SMS this new window pops up and it's loading all my conversation uh, so very nice app I would say must if you're using Mac and Android definitely useful and that's pretty much from for the app store today if you have any questions leave in comments down below thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now